Hello everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Financial News Network, 11 a.m. market update. And we're looking on this first day of March, Tuesday, we're looking at the Dow down 463 at 33,424, certainly the conflagration going on in Ukraine is just, it's just a situation that is so precarious right now. The S&P is also down quite sharply. Dow's down 1.34%. The S&P is down 0.90%, uh, minus 40 at 4333, that 422.62 low of the 24th of January was taken out four days ago. Then there was a really nice rally in holding, not too bad when you think about it, but wow, this is a dangerous situation. QQQs are now down $1.50 at 345.25. Um, holding pretty well when you think about it, and their oversold condition, trying to be the, the place to go to in the market in this particular environment, uh, that's still in play at this particular point. The IWM is very poor, down 265, 200.64. We were talking about gold in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, just a short while ago, saying, hey, uh, gold right now, um, I, I would have expected it to be much, much higher, but it's certainly making higher highs and higher lows. So it is, uh, you know, the, the gold, as I call it, the fear factor icon uh, is up 27 and 1928. The dollar is holding quite well. But look at this. Bonds, U.S. bonds are up um, two. Now they're up more than two. They're up two point and seven thirty seconds. The 158, 29, 36. Now money is flowing out of the weak equities into the safety of bonds. That's going to be really important to monitor. It's got one. 59, that's called a 160, 200 period moving average resistance. If it powers above that, that's just to say this market is becoming weaker and weaker. What we're looking at is crude oil is at a high. It is at 104.38. The high today so far, the continuous contract is 104.99. Obviously, crude oil is in play. Just the scarcity that's going to be there, just the whole situation revolves a lot around human lives and crude oil. And this is the way we have to look at it. So we'll have to watch this closely because if crude oil starts to trade and doesn't stall in the 105, 106 area, but in fact goes right through to 112, I think that's going to impact our markets because the IYT, I didn't do this during my show, but the IYT is starting to pull back, it isn't breaking out like it, it should. This is the transportation average. It should through the comeback of the summer, the spring summer period with everybody traveling again. So this is an issue. Have a wonderful day and stay tuned. You've got Larry Pizzavento, Think of Swim, Steve Rose, Dave White, and Tom O'Brien. I'll be back with Tom a little later today. Have a great day and uh, good luck. See you tomorrow.